Yo, what's going on guys? It's Chase. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking all AK-47 skins within Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, this is all the way up to the Phantom Disruptor, which is with the most recent Prisma 2 packs. So anything coming after this, I'm sorry, won't be in the video because obviously it's not out yet. Before we get into the list, however, I want you guys to comment down below what weapon you would like to see next week. I want to rank weapon skins. That would be really, really cool and it would be a great way to just give my opinion or just show showcase some skins so once again comment down below what weapon skins you want to see ranked next week also this is completely my opinion i think that's pretty obvious that we all have our different opinions on what makes a skin good what your favorite colors are stuff like that so let's go ahead and get into the video coming in all the way at number 34 the worst ak-47 skin in my opinion is the predator i just don't like it i think it's very very boring i hate the pattern on it I hate the brown and the olive color. I don't think they work really well together. It does match the AK-47 though. It kind of matches a commando vibe and I like that, but it's just not a very good looking skin. Coming in at number 33, I have the Jungle Spray. The Jungle Spray is a little bit better than the Predator just because I like the colors on it more. It's still very, very boring. It still has that, you know, striped theme across the gun. I just don't really like it all that much. There are so many better AK-47 skins, but this is a nice little basic skin that if you get it, you're probably gonna use it if you don't have any other AK skin. Coming in at number 32, we're gonna be having the Safety Net. I absolutely just hate this skin, but I will give it credit for being unique and you know having a little bit of color to it. It's just so gross. The white is cool about it, but then you have that orange that just stands out like a sore thumb and the pattern is just terrible. And then occasionally across the gun, you also have some brown thrown in. And I just think it looks terrible. Coming in at number 31 is the AK-47 Safari Mesh. Now, this is probably a skin that was a lot of people's first AK skin as, you know, it's a Dust 2 drop. I just like this skin. I don't know what it is. I like the khaki color of the gun. I also like the faint pattern on it. And it's also very simple and would look great with certain stickers. Coming in at number 30, I have the Uncharted skin. I really like the Hawaiian vibe I get from the skin. I don't know why I get it. I think it's just the pattern of the gun. However, the problem I have with this is the absence of color. I really like a skin to have some color. At first, I really, really hated the skin, but it has grown on me tons, especially once you get it in game and start using it in game. The pattern looks phenomenal, but the absence of color really kills it for me. Coming in at number 29, it's the first skin of color and it's the Emerald Pinstripe. I like how it's darker and the wood is a little bit darker as well as the metal. However, I don't like the Emerald Pinstripe itself. It would be better if it spanned the whole gun. Also, I'm a little bit biased here because green is one of my least favorite colors. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, the Emerald Pinstripe comes in at number 29. Coming in at number 28, we're gonna be having the Rat Rod. I'm not a fan of a skin that already looks really damaged when it's fact new. That's the problem with this skin. The whole skin is just kind of a rustic, kind of torn apart car looking vibe to it. And I don't like that. I don't like a skin that looks damaged when it's fact new. And that's my problem with this. However, I do like the light blue color it has. One of my favorite colors is that baby light blue. Coming in at number 27, we're going to be having the Baroque Purple. It's like the Safari Mesh. It's very simple. However, it has a little bit more color than the Safari Mesh. The Dark Pastel Blue is very, very unique. And I like the pattern on the gun. Like I said, it's very, very comparable to the Safari Mesh. So if you want a little bit of an upgraded Safari Mesh that would look absolutely amazing with some blue or purple stickers, definitely invest in the Baroque Purple. It's super cheap. Coming in at number 26, we're gonna be having the first class. It's overall really boring, but I do appreciate the leather design it is going for. I like the green tinted leather. I think that's super cool, but that's really where everything about this gun ends. Uh, th there's nothing else that's changed about it really. Coming in at number 25, we have the black laminate. The laminate spree is starting to begin. Okay, we're gonna just rattle off some laminates here in a minute, but I just don't like the laminate skins. I'm not a real big fan of wood patterns on weapons, and and the black laminate is the most you know non-noticeable it really just looks like some black wood with a little bit of accents thrown in and it's just overall really really boring coming in at number 24 we have the red laminate this is probably the community's favorite it's also super super expensive for literally no reason it's definitely not a bad red skin if you prefer the color red over things like blue or black However, the problem with it for me is once again, it's a laminate skin, but I will say the red stands out and looks cooler than the black laminate. 
At 23, we have the last laminate, and it is the blue laminate. I personally love blue because I'm a Kentucky fan, or if you just love the color blue, you probably will like this gun. However, it's the cheapest of the laminates, it looks the most smooth, and for that, I respect it. It really has everything going for it. It's cheap, it's blue, it looks very, very clean, and that's what's good about it. However, let's be real, it's a laminate skin, so it looks fucking stupid. Coming in at number 22, we have the Jet Set. I really love the design of it. It's like the first class, but it looks like realistic leather. I like how it's a travel briefcase type design. It has those stickers on it that are preset on the weapon, and then you can just throw more stickers on it and make it look even more designed and cooler. And I love how the stickers would match, you know, the vibe that you get from it. I absolutely love this skin. However, let's be real, there are so many good AK skins that I just can't put it that much higher. Coming in at number 21, we have the Cartel. Most AK skins change the wood of the gun, however this skin puts engravings into the metal and it looks nice, however in my opinion there's not enough changes to it. I don't think it should be a pink at all, I think that's pretty ridiculous on Valve's part. However, this mixed with the Uncharted skin would potentially look nice, I think it could have something going for it if it would ever mix with something like the Uncharted skin. Coming in at number 20, we have the Hydroponic. A lot of people love this skin because of the leaf design on it and how well the green works with the wood finish and the white metal. However, once again, I've already said this, I'm not a big fan of the skin because of the lime green. I don't like green. It also costs tons, but if you are a collector, this is definitely one of the skins that you love and that you're very familiar with. Coming in at number 19, we have the Orbit MK1. I like the red of the skin, but that's really where the good things end for me. I'm I'm not a really big fan of mechanical looking skins and this really looks like a spaceship this one is one of the very few skins where i feel like they put too much detail into it when it could have been far more simple and looked far more better coming in at number 18 we have the elite build this is actually one of the first ak skins i ever owned and i will always have an attachment to my ak-47 elite build however this skin is the definition of simple and sleek in my opinion, it's the best version of the Elite build. You know, the P90 looks alright and the Op looks alright, but the AK does it so well. And certainly, it's one of the best cheap AK skins. You can pick this up fact new for around $6, and that's absolutely great for an AK skin. Coming in at number 17 is the Fire Serpent. This is going to make so many people upset because it is such a huge collectible item. But other than the vanity of having something so rare and so expensive, would you really want the Fire Serpent? Like I'm saying that if it was just in normal cases, not expensive, would you buy it over some of these other skins? I don't like the way the skin looks. The Serpent looks quite bad in my opinion, but I respect it because I love Japanese dragon art styles and when done right, which it is here, it looks decent. Coming in at number 16 is the Case Harden. I put it right at the med middle of the list because if you could manage to pull a scar pattern or a very blue AK, I would absolutely love the skin because it would be a blue gem and it would be super, super high on the list and it would be one of the best skins in CSGO. However, you can also get a terrible Case Harden with minimal blue on it, making it one of the worst ever. So by that logic, you can have one of the best skins on this list or one of the worst skins on this list. So I just put it right in the middle. Coming in at number 15, we're going to be having the Wasteland Rebel. I think the Wasteland Rebel skin was always meant to be on the AK with a great terra-sided skin and the white graffiti on the stained gritty wood. It looks great. Like I said, this was really just made for the AK because it is a Rebel skin. It looks very terrorist sided. It just would not work on a CT gun and it was meant to be on a T gun. Coming in at number 14, we have the Fuel Injector. There are very few yellow weapon skins within CSGO, but to be honest, this gun does yellow very, very well. The gunmetal gray and the yellow work really well together. If you love the color yellow, I'd pick this skin up. There's really no other yellow AK that you can invest in. Coming in at number 13, we're going to be having the Phantom Disruptor. This comes from the most recent Prisma 2 collection, and it looks phenomenal. I love the black background of the whole gun. I think it's a great backdrop for the actual art of the gun. However, I wish the rest of the gun would look more vibrant instead of less pastel. I really, really like this skin and it has grown on me a lot, but the only nitpick I have about it is I feel like the gun would look so much better with more vibrant colors instead of pastel colors. Coming in at number 12, we have the Jaguar. So many people are going to be pissed that I put this skin so high. I just feel it and I apologize, but this is my opinion. I love this skin. The olive color is super nice 
and fits the AK really, really well. But the huge Jaguar with the glowing red eye is so badass. I love the skin so much. The Jaguar really just saves the whole skin. That glowing red eye is super, super cool. Coming in at number 11 is the Red Line. This placement was really tough for me because the top 11 are honestly some of the greatest skins in CSGO, and I had to decide which didn't make the top 10. But I love the simplicity of this weapon. The black is so sleek, as well as the carbon fiber with the gun. The red lines give it a super good appeal. Black and red together really honestly never fail. Like I said, I absolutely love this gun. I didn't put it in the top 10 because I, the skins above it are just that great. Uh, but don't get me wrong, this gun is right alongside the rest of those skins. This is one of the best skins in CS. Coming in at number 10, we have the Bloodsport. Once again, within the top 11, any skin can be traded for anything and put out with each other. However, I love this skin because of the race car vibe it has to it with all the branding all over the gun. The really sharp lines are really nice as well, and the unique orangish red color of the skin I absolutely adore. It's very, very unique to the gun. I don't really know any other guns with NCS that have this, uh, you know, reddish orange color skin. Coming in at number 9, we have the Neon Revolution. This gun certainly makes a statement. It's super flashy, and that's what I like about it. You guys have certainly found out throughout this that I love vibrant guns. If you love highlighter pink and green, then this skin is just meant for you. It screams you. Just a really, really bright colored skin, and it has some great design on it. I think it says Anarchy in it as well, and that's super cool. Coming in at number 8 is the front side Misty. I will never forget when this skin came out because I honestly thought it was so beautiful. I personally am a huge fan of cyan and light blue colors and the pattern mixed with these colors is something any CS player would mouthwater over. I mean that white looks great, it has the black backdrop of the gun and then also they threw in some cyan with it and that's absolutely amazing. Coming in at number 7, we're going to be having the Asimov. I'm willing to bet so many expected this skin to be top 5 or maybe even number 1, but I can't be predictable guys. I'm, I'm just not going to be predictable. This skin really just doesn't do all that much for me. Asimov looks great on really any gun, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like it matches the AK all that well. I mean, the AK being a terror sighted gun and all that, I just don't think should have an Asimov skin. It looks very, very sleek though, and like I said, Asimov on any gun looks amazing. Coming in at number 6, we're going to be having the Point Disarray. I absolutely love this skin. The salmon pink and the baby blue work so well together, especially with the abstract triangular artwork on the skin. I also love the navy or dark blue at the bottom of the weapon where the pattern isn't. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Definitely one of the better simple skins if you want something simple instead of something like the Wild Lotus or something like that that is super, super complex and has amazing artwork on it. Coming in at number five, of course, we're gonna be having the recently mentioned Wild Lotus. I'm sure many casual CS players may not have heard of the skin before because that's how exceedingly rare it is. It's got such a great artwork on it, and I appreciate this skin for what it is so much. The flower looks great, and despite it being one of my least favorite colors in green, it still works because it fits the plant-based style of the skin. Just an absolute phenomenal skin with amazing artwork. Props to whoever made this skin, man. Coming in at number four, we're gonna be having the Aquamarine Revenge. When I say CSGO AK skin, this is likely what all of you think of. The Aquamarine Revenge is such a classic and the colors work so well together. Also, what's cooler than some friggin' fire dolphins on the gun? That's just absolutely nuts. Coming in at number three, we have the Vulcan. This skin is literally the skin that so many pros rock. Like, I literally have not seen a pro that doesn't own the skin and it's because of how nice it looks. It is super sleek and super smooth. It is literally the definition of sleek and smooth. The white and black give it a heavy modern appeal and then the light blue accents throughout the gun make it look even better it kind of looks futuristic and that's what i like about it as well ever since they released the neon rider for the mac 10 i've been begging for them to release it for other weapons in the game and at last we got an ak skin with it and boy did it not disappoint i absolutely love vibrant neon skins we've already discussed this and the pink and light blue as well as the purple just works so so well together it has kind of that discotheque vibe and then, of course, the bike racer on the skin looks cool as hell. Coming in at number one, we have the Empress. This genuinely might be my favorite skin in all of CSGO. I absolutely love this skin because of how well everything works together. And if you know what colors mean, 
then you will absolutely appreciate this skin. The red gives the Empress power, the gold gives her a type of royalty and godlike look, and then on top of all of that, the night blue sky that is you know put over makes this skin the greatest AK skin. This skin embodies everything a good skin in CSGO is in my opinion, and like I said, it's personally my favorite in the game. So I'm curious, what did you guys think about the list? What is your favorite AK skin in the game? We went through all 34 of them that are currently in the game. Comment down below what your favorite is. Also, don't forget to comment down below what weapon you'd like to see ranked next week. Also, don't forget to join the Discord with the link down below in the description. I have plenty of people there waiting to play Siege, Call of Duty, CS, whatever you want to play. It's also a great place for us to just discuss video games or anything you want to talk about, and it's a great way to connect with me. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.